Hello all, welcome back to our YouTube channel German Talks. Today we are going to start with a new chapter that is chapter number 8, Meine Wohnung. This chapter is very important on exam point of view because many times in your Schreiben and your expression you will encounter the vocabulary related to the Wohnung, even in your A2 exam, even in your A1 exam. For example, in A1 exam in expression part, you will find many uh, cards where you are going to frame a bit a question like request type, type of questions where you will encounter these types of vocabulary there okay so i would request you to please make a separate vocabulary related to mine vonu so here they wrote mine vonu why here it is mine vonu if you saw my uh, video on how we can recognize gender i told you that if there is ung in the end ung then it will take feminine article ung there are some tips and tricks that i explained you in that video so if it will take ung if it is there ung in the ending here so it will mostly like 99 percent it will going to take the article feminine so that's why here they put e as I told you that mine, 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 and mine. Yeah, this is for masculine, neutral, feminine, and plural. That's why here they wrote minor e ending. Yes, minor. And why here it is my? Because again we did this in possessive article possessive article or you can say positive pronoun like my apartment my apartment what i am telling here possessiveness or relationship or ownership that my apartment my mobile phone my laptop that's why we use here my your apartment his car, her car, these all are possessive article, possessive pronoun. That's why minor and why here it is E. I already told you because of feminine. Das Bart. Here this is just a diagram of the apartment. Okay. Das Bad. Das Bad means bath or we can say bathroom. Okay. Their floor. Their floor means hall. Das Arbeit Zimmer. Arbeit means work. Zimmer means room. So, working room. Schlaf and Zimmer. Schlaf is a noun and the verb can be schlafen schlafen means to sleep and schlaf is noun again you can see here this is in capital this is in small letter and this is in capital letter i told you when there is a verb we will always write in small when there is a noun we always write in a capital. So this means sleeping room. Das Kinderzimmer. Kinder means again children and Zimmer means room. So children room. Das bed is bed. Their herd. Herd means their herd. Herd means store. Or we can say cooker. Their drucker, from the picture you can guess, printer. Their computer, the lamp. Very common, this one for A1 exam, where you will give in a card that they will written lamp and you need to request a. A bitte form. 
the washing machine washing machine the stool stool the sofa and the cool shrunk again refrigerator cool means cool okay frag number 1 a mobile un gerate mobile means furniture gerate means devices wo state was as gift mirror moglish kaitan ordinance zoo un fergleichen z fergleichen means to compare so this is just a group activity in this one for example there are two students and they can do a group activity for example one can ask was is in the in the kyusho what is there in the kitchen so the answer can be their heart means stove this one so like this if you have any friend who is also learning a german language so that you can do with them a group activity again the kyusho kitchen das wohnzimmer living room again wohnen wohnen means to live and this is wohn live again you will see here this one is small capital verb and this one is noun their balcony balcony their shrub tree means study table for example we write shriban shriban means to write and shrub shrub means to just write noun and tish means table their fan zen tv fan zen tv fan fan means distance and zen means to see so which thing we can see from a distance we can sit and we can see what other things are going on from a distance that is tv so fan zen their tapish carpet their sonan shrim umbrella their tish i already explained you here das bild photo their sizzle armchair their shrunk cupboard dish pool machine dishwasher das regal means shelves okay so these all are vocabulary are very important frage number 2 are leblings oat leblings means favorite oat means place favorite and this one is place wo sind die leute am liebsten in ihre wohnung hören sie und noten sie where are the people mostly in there or they like to be there in their apartment we need to hear it and we need to note it down for example number 1 they already gave the answer arbeitszimmer same like this we need to do for number 2 drei und vier this one is the hören exercise mit 2a 1 Tja, ich bin Journalistin. Wenn ich zu Hause bin, bin ich da eigentlich die meiste Zeit im Ich arbeite da am Computer, schreibe E-Mails. You heard the the beep sound was there. The beep sound 
is nothing just the answer okay for example they are saying something and the answer that will be for example arbeit zimmer and then again they will say something so instead of that they are just uh, sounding like a beep so there will be the answer okay so don't get confused acht meine wohnung aufgabe 2a 1 tja ich bin journalistin wenn ich zu hause bin bin ich da eigentlich die meiste zeit im ich arbeite da am computer schreibe e mails surfe im internet schreibe die texte für die zeitung 2 also die ganze Familie sitzt da jeden Abend zusammen. Wir kochen, essen etwas Gutes, sitzen alle an einem großen Tisch und erzählen. Die ist eigentlich das Zentrum unserer Wohnung. 3 Nach einem langen Tag an der Uni entspanne ich total gern in meinem Ich habe ein sehr bequemes Sofa, da kann man gut lesen oder fernsehen. Ich sehe besonders gern gute Filme und Reportagen. 4. Im Sommer bin ich besonders oft und gerne auf dem Also natürlich nur, wenn das Wetter schön ist. Man kann in der Sonne sitzen, lesen, Kaffee trinken und am Wochenende grillen wir oft. 8. Meine Wohnung. Aufgabe 2a. 1. Tja, ich bin Journalistin. Wenn ich zu Hause bin, bin ich da eigentlich die meiste Zeit im Ich arbeite da am Computer, schreibe E-Mails, surfe im Internet, schreibe die Texte für die Zeitung. See, maybe you will find sometimes difficulty finding the answers or in the human part. Now, what you can do? Most of the times what mistakes we do like we not able to understand many of the things like 100% you will not going to understand here. It will take time, it will take lots of practice. So what you can do always focus what they are asking in question and what are the familiar words which you already know. For example, you know Arbeiter, you know computer, you know Schreiben, Schreiber, emails you know mostly uh, familiar uh, uh, related to english internet you know schreibe the text for the zeitung you know okay so according to that we can guess the answer yes again we will do for no why then we will check zwei also die ganze familie sitzt da jeden abend zusammen wir kochen, essen etwas Gutes, sitzen alle an einem großen Tisch und erzählen. Die ist eigentlich das Zentrum unserer Wohnung. So here I again highlighted the familiar words which you already know in your A1. You know family, you know Abins, Zusammen, Kochen, Essen, Große Tisch und Erzählen. Zentrum unserer Wohnung. Okay, see now according to this also we can guess. What they are asking in the question that... Uh, people's favorite place the question is you just need to concentrate on one thing that their favorite place in the apartment favorite place in a apartment okay this we need to check we already know the possibilities for example there can be working room sleeping room living room balcony and so on now According to this, we can guess. For example, family sits in Aben Zuzamen. When family sits together in the evening, most of the time, where where family sits, that we know together. Again, they gave more information: kochen, cooking, eating, grocer tish un erzelen to discuss. And that is the center of our apartment. Yes. So you can, according to your knowledge, you can also guess it. For example, they are talking about the kitchen. Yes. 
where family where family sits together they make food they eat food there is a grocer dish big table and it is the center of our apartment okay like this in this also we can check for example they use here the word arbiten where i work where there is a computer schreibe emails surf em in internet schreiben the text for the zeitung means they are talking about the arbeitszimmer okay again with this trick we will do for number 3 then again we will check 3 nach einem langen tag an der uni entspanne ich total gern in meinem ich habe ein sehr bequemes sofa da kann man gut lesen oder fernsehen ich sehe besonders gern gute filme und reportagen again we need to uh, uh, see for the favorite place in the apartment so bequem means comfortable sofa they talk about sofa gute lesen fernsehen gute filme and so on so if you if you even while doing your hearing if you also listen only in these few words you can also get the answers what they are talking about here wohnzim living room there where there is sofa there is tv where you can read where you can see film and so on again with this trick we will do number 4 4 im sommer bin ich besonders oft und gerne auf dem also natürlich nur wenn das wetter schön ist man kann in der sonne sitzen lesen kaffee trinken und am wochenende grillen wir oft Okay let's see I think you heard the word summer in the Hebrew then weather is shown beautiful weather then zonen man kan in the zonen sit sun okay they can sit in the sun read coffee drinken wochenende grillen grillen means to grill yes so you cannot sit when there is a sun you cannot sit inside the room they are talking about man can in the zone and sitsen okay they can sit and lesen coffee drink coffee drinken and so on so they are talking about balcon because it is a part of the apartment so we can say balcon balcony okay so if those students who are getting difficulty while during this hearing exercise what i want to do, do that first concentrate on the words which you already know then guess the answer that is the first step that while you know already these words okay i can also understand like right now for you it is very difficult to understand each and every sentence yes this all sentence it's very difficult to understand so what you can do first step which i told you that first those words which you know just note it down and then according to what they ask in the question you can guess it second step to improve your hearing now see the transcript and those words which you don't know for example these words you don't know just write their meaning and improve your vocabulary and again after doing this exercise again after one week uh again listen to this audio and like this you can improve your hearing okay if you like this uh, the way of this trick please let me know in the comments so was ist ihre lieblingszimmer was machen sie dort gerne ergänzen sie okay this is a schreiben part where you need to just write what is your favorite a uh, zimmer and what you like to do there mostly ergänzen for example if it is your arbeit zimmer what you like to do in arbeit zimmer study you you like to watch study read new newspaper and so on so it is a schreiben exercise okay for me from my side what you need to do you just need to write in the comments what is your favorite room okay was ist ihre lieblingszimmer 
from this all just let me know in the comments okay frag number 3 a kala un alex sukhan eine wohnung Lesen Sie die E-Mail, markieren Sie alle wichtigen Informationen über die Wohnung. Okay, I have a one question for you. Again a revision. We will do one revision which is grammar which already did. Why here there is eine? In chapter 4 I explained you I will write this sentence in English Kala and Alex searching for a room now in German language we don't know what will come here which form of ein Ein will come, eine will come, einen will come, einem will come, and so on. So my question is why here, how this eine came here? Again, I will ask myself, was question, was means what question? I will ask Kala and Alex searching for a room. What Kala and Alex searching for? My answer will come a room. Yes, I ask myself what question the answer will come a room. That means this is a direct object. That and what I mean with direct object means it's it comes in accusative. We haven't did dative yet. Okay, I just explain you about right now accusative. So what they are searching for a room. Now I know this is accusative. One thing is clear. There also I told you, okay, from nominative, accusative, dative. One thing is clear that this is accusative, not nominative, not dative. One more thing we required that is gender, gender of the noun. This also I explained you. Here there is ung in the end without looking at the dictionary we can say it is feminine. So accusative of feminine of unbestim. So in accusative we will say einem, einen, ein, eine, eine. Masculine, neutral, feminine, plural. This, this I wrote of accusative not nominative okay. So accusative of feminine eine. That's why here it is Aina. Those students who are following my lectures from starting, they can easily uh, connect with the knowledge which we did in the chapter number 4, 5 and 6. So I hope now it's, it is clear here. Like this, there are many times uh, it's it's came. Okay, just I saw here, that's why I told you. So whenever you will also find many times these articles, you can also check by this. Now, they are searching for apartment. Listen to the email. Mark energy alle vishtike information over the forum. We need to read the mail, email. We need to read the email and we need to mark the important. Vishtika means important information about the vono okay here is the email hello wir möchten endlich zusammen sehen und brauchen eine vono okay so we want finally endlich here means finally so we would like to finally zusammen sehen means to move in together Und brauchen eine Wohnung and we need a apartment. Wir suchen eine Dreisimmer Wohnung. Again, see here, eine Kim. 
so now you know okay now i gave you the logic here why here it is i know because each and everything you cannot learn in any language there are some logic which you need to remember and which will make your with this language very easy we are sukhan aine dry zima vonu they are searching for three room three room apartment and they to also give the details kyusha bad shlaf zima von zima un ein arbeit zima unge fair means roughly agzish quad quadrat meter size of the room for maximal 700 euro un im zentrum zentrum means in the center or you can say in the city gane mit balcon udar terrace again new information like they gave here their wish if this would be there then it would be more good un zi mus ruhish zain un hel ruhish and hel ruhish means calm hel means bright danke un file gruze von kala un alex this is just the email now same with this this question is also related dry be kala un alex hung an eye zetel im supermarket auf zetel means note or slip they just found a note or a slip in the supermarket ergenden sie die zetel wir suchen eine wohnung zimmer dry yes they told here they wrote here how many rooms they want three grosser they also told here about the size how much size they want so agzish quadrat meter माइट ए मैक्सिमाल मीन्स रेंट मैक्सिम रेंट हियर जीबन हंड्रेड ऑयरो ओट प्लेस दे ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट प्लेस दैट वेर दे वॉन्ट हियर इम जेंट्रूम ओके व्यूंश दे ऑल्सो टोल्ड हियर सी बालकोन उड terrace and telephone number here is the telephone number nulls i z b z x ak 9 fear fear ain ak 9 okay like this again in your lesson part these types of question also comes and where you have some sentences where you need to mark the answers maybe it can be rishti should have false means true or false you need to mark or there are some questions so this is this type of exercise is mainly for your lesson part number 3 uh entschuldigung frage number 3 c kala un alex lesson Wohnungs an Siegen hören Sie das Gespräch über welche Wohnung sprechen Sie ist das die richtige Wohnung für Sie warum oder warum nicht So now Carla und Alex they are reading an advertisement for an apartment advertisement for an apartment we need to hear the conversation gesh prash means conversation and over and about which they are speaking is das the rishtiga wohnung for z is that the 
uh, write volume for them why and why not okay. for example that they, they are just uh, they are seeing something advertisement is going on about the apartment and they are and they both are discussing and we need to check that this is the right apartment for them or not aufgabe 3c schau mal hier das klingt gut elegante wohnung im zentrum mit balkon sechster stock mit aufzug das ist doch super oder ja aber lies mal weiter 950 euro miete oh stimmt die ist zu teuer hm. und die hier okay Now, what I want you to do, just don't read right now this thing. Just hear the Huron and what are the important informations or what are the words which you already know and you hear it, you just need to note it down. Okay, like this you can improve your Huron. One more time I'm going to play the audio and you just need to note it down. What are the words you know? Then after the transcript we will check it. Okay. So right now you just don't need to read this. Just note down what they are te telling. Aufgabe 3C. Schau mal hier, das klingt gut. Elegante Wohnung im Zentrum mit Balkon. Sechster Stock mit Aufzug. Das ist doch super, oder? Ja, aber lies mal weiter. 950 Euro Miete. Oh, stimmt. Die ist zu teuer. Hm. Und die hier? So, I hope you mark your answer. Now you can pause the uh, the video and you can mark from this answers that according to you, what you marked and what can be the answer for that. Okay, they, they told here Varum Nisht. Why they are, uh, what in the advertisement, what they are saying and why they are not taking. There can be some something that's why they are not taking. So you can mark it. Now I'm going to show you the transcript. Then we will compare it. Aufgabe 3C. Schau mal hier, das klingt gut. Elegante Wohnung im Zentrum mit Balkon, sechster Stock mit Aufzug. Das ist doch super, oder? Ja, aber lies mal weiter. 950 Euro Miete. Oh, stimmt. Die ist zu teuer. Hm. Und die hier? So I hope now you know all this words because these are already given in the question eleganta vonu im zentrum mit balcon they they want balcon in the previous question we saw they want balcon or the terrace or there is balcon in sixth floor sixth stock means sixth stock mit aufzug means elevator now here we need to see so what they told das ist sehr teuer. Die ist zu teuer. So das ist sehr teuer. It is too much costly. So they are talking about this one. Okay. And they are not taking because of the rent. Now we need to see in the, from this one. In that options. Which one is this one. We can see here. Here there is no. The rent is low. Rent is low. Here, here, and here you can see 950 euro. Okay, mit balcon, sixth floor. Yes, so that that's what I told you in the previous huron also. If you don't even know the hundred person a huron, but if you know just the but if you know just the basic words, then you can also guess the answers. For example, here they told just about 950 euro and you know okay and they also told this is very toyer so that's why they are not taking because they ask here warum nicht why they are not taking because the rent is too much high so the answer will be this one till here i hope it's clear there is one small grammar topic here that is adjective mit sein sein we already know we did in a Chapter number seven. Again, we will revise. Sein, haben, two helping verbs. Sein takes nominative, haben takes accusative. Okay. Do 
the wohnung ist klein see this topic is not that much complex it is same like english only what that meaning is adjective mit sein first you al already know adjective which shows quality okay this quality we are using with sein okay like bin based is sind 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 with that we are going to use it so it is very easy for example here the wohnung ist the wohnung ist klein the apartment is small so ist sein form this one and klein is a adjective Die Wohnung ist nicht groß. Again, sein. And here they just wrote not and gross again adjective big. Like the the apartment is not big. Okay. Now, one thing you need to note down here. From here they are going to introduce the adjective. Okay. the reason behind why they introduce here because in your a2 there is one topic the name of the topic is adjective ending where you are going to change the or where you are going to put the adjective ending also for example here and here when there is an there are certain rules where you are going to put some endings okay so that's why they introduce here adjective ending adjective topic so that at least you should know the adjectives common uh, common adjectives which are there okay and this the here down also it is same only adjective plus zu zer plus zu zer means very okay zu means to okay so adjective with this so adjective is this one our adjective is here adjective is here adjective is here okay and they told myth sign so we will see this one is sign sign this one is zer and zu okay so this one is also same like english only for example the wohnung is zer teuer the apartment is very costly that also we say in english so it's same only the wohnung is zu teuer the apartment is too costly okay so this is slash means you can use any of this like this you can frame any answer okay here are some adjectives okay ruhish means calm loud means loud kleiner small grosser means big toyer means costly hell i already told you bright central dunkel means dark central means central like this so again you can also frame some questions like this and you can also write in a comment for example the computer the laptop is very costly the phone is very cheap the apartment is very calm ruhish or the apartment is very loud any sentence okay any sentence you can frame and you just need to let, uh, let me know in the comments see like this only we can you can also improve your schreiben part by small small things yes that's why i always tell you to write in a comment so that you can also frame some sentence like this you, i you can also uh, imp improve your schreiben and for huron i already told you some tips and tricks so this was just about the introductory part of the chapter number 8 from in the next lecture we are going to do some uh, grammar part which is there in the chapter number 8 so in today's video what we did we just saw some vocabulary related to the wonu which is very important which i already told you for your a1 and a2 exam second most important i also told you about the huron part that how you if you are finding difficulty how you can like in according to the like if you are appearing for the exam how you can tackle the exam of the huron part okay so if you like this huron trick please let me know in the comment okay and we just saw here a small grammar topic which is mainly similar to the english one only so that's all for today danke schon auf wiedersehen